yeah, I was delighted when I heard um, second person from Castlebar to get it in the last three years. So it was a great honour to pick it up today. And um, it's a nice little momentum for our club as well because we've worked hard the last few months. So it's nice for someone to get an award for it. Yeah, well, obviously we'd love to try and catch the big two, but at this stage, um, realistically, we'd be very happy if we finished third. And then next season, we're even looking forward to it already because we feel with the players we have in now and the players we've brought in since Christmas that we could really challenge the top two, like Piedmont and Rohini, next season. But um, at the moment, yeah, we're, we're hoping to keep our third position. But obviously, Wexford and Galway are creeping up in the ranks as well, and they're only getting stronger week in, week out as well. So we have to keep relaxed and keep focused and try and keep pushing off for third place and even higher again next season, hopefully. Um, to be honest, we've brought in players there at Christmas time. Uh, we've brought in Maria Bones, Jerry McLaughlin, Aoife Brennan and Lauren Bowles and they've added a great amount to the team, to the squad as well. Um, we feel now that if during the game we can, we can look to a strong bench. Um, it's just great commitment in our team as well the last few months. Uh, the cup final in Aviva there in November, it gave us a great boost as a team and there's more morale now in the squad and everyone just fighting for their place in the team, which is a lot better to have that um, amongst the squad of players as well. So, um, you know, there's great morale in the squad at the moment and we're hoping to keep up the good form that we're in. Well, yeah, it just boosted our confidence like for Castlebar and I'm sure Rohini as well. Um, firstly, it was a great play in the Aviva ahead of the men's game. Uh, brilliant for women's football as well, not only for our two teams. Um, it was great to show Ireland and I know people are watching as well in different countries around the world. It was great to show them how, how far women's football has come in the last few years. And um, we, we know ourselves as Castlebar as a team, as a squad. We know that we could challenge for the top place next year. Um, as I said, it's probably a bit too late this season, but next year we're really looking forward to it. If we keep the group of players we have at the moment and keep the management that we have, um, we're, we'll be strong contingents for that first spot next year as well. Obviously, um, the plan now in the next couple of years, like in the near future even, is to break into the senior squad. I'd love to do that. Um, Obviously, they've a great bunch of players in there already, so I'm just waiting for my opportunity to come, and when it comes, hopefully I'll take it and grab it with both hands. Uh, but until that day, anyway, I'll keep working hard uh, with Castlebar, keep tipping away in the league week in, week out, play our games, and hopefully that way I'll get noticed and other girls in Castlebar as well serve a spot. So hopefully we'll all get a bit of more recognition now, um, all the different teams around the country for the senior squad as well.